This afternoon, the Alliance is also meeting with partners who will be participating in the Resolute Support Mission for Afghanistan. And that is a train, advise, and assist program that will begin in January. Uh, this really marks a remarkable moment in the history of uh, the ISAF effort, some 13 years of military engagement, which will now end and be replaced by the Resolute Support Mission. The accomplishments uh, over those years are really quite remarkable. And today, uh, we heard from a unity government, from President Ghani and from Chief Executive Officer Abdullah, Abdullah uh, both of whom talked the same language from the same page about the same possibilities for Afghanistan. And their leadership, their willingness, each of them to put uh, themselves and even their supporters uh, to a place where they could find compromise and put Afghanistan ahead of their personal ambitions is a great statement about the hopes of the people of Afghanistan. And so as a result, you have the first transfer of power in a democracy from one government to a government to another government in the history of Afghanistan. That is no small accomplishment, just as having a unity government is no small accomplishment. The Resolute Support Mission marks the start now of a new phase in NATO's support for Afghan security forces. And those security forces have already assumed full responsibility for the combat operations in their country. The recent wave of Taliban attacks shows how vital it is that the international community remains firm in its support for a stable, secure, and prosperous Afghanistan. 